Well, uh, I made, uh, I don't know if it's a good decision or a mistake, uh, because it, in retrospect, it made this movie much worse. Right after watching this, just for comparison's sake, I watched Shin Godzilla from 2016, the Japanese reboot. There hadn't been a Godzilla movie in like over a decade or something. That's a movie that has very little Godzilla, but it also has no protagonist, and it's fucking great. It's very uh, like tactical and logical, where it's like it's a complete reboot. It's like if Godzilla showed up today, what would how would everyone react? Like like okay, this giant monster just showed up on shore. What do we do? And so we have scenes with like the military, we have scenes with the government, we have scenes with scientists, and it's all, like everybody trying to work together. But there's all this like political red tape, so everything's taking way longer than it should. And that's the whole movie, and it's fucking awesome. I think as like a like a Star Trek fan, like a TNG fan, you would actually like it. Because it's very, I, in, I, in rewatching our Godzilla review from 2014, you're like, I would love to see a movie that's just scientists trying to figure out what to do. And that's the movie. I, I, I like a good procedural drama. That, that's what it is. 